here's the engine light right there. Gonna... All right, so we got another one here. Got a little engine light coming on. So we're gonna figure this stuff out. So let's uh, turn on the car. <laughs> up yet let's check out our status on the car here's the engine light right there we're gonna plug in our obd reader uh, i believe this is so configured to the bmw i got this from amazon i'm no longer affiliated with amazon but you can grab this at amazon thanks for like um, 60 bucks 100 dollars at the most i'm gonna use a scanner we're gonna plug it in and figure out what's going on all right all right, so I got my Autolink uh, OBD reader from Amazon. I'm just gonna go right here. So this is driver's side, right where you see my other video, how to uh, top off the engine coolant. Here's the foot rest, brake, gas. So it's right underneath the dashboard, right where the steering wheel column is. So it's gonna be right about there. And see, that's where you can plug in the OBD reader. This part goes in there, and we'll find out what's uh, our code's gonna read. All right, all right, plugged it in. We're gonna, so I think it's gonna be confirmed with this OK button OBD reader. Hit OK, our codes. Uh, so active grill shutter B stuck on P054AF. So we'll go back, stuck open grill. So here's your options. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna call BMW and they're gonna try to sell you the whole thing for, I don't know, 400 some odd dollars, sometimes three something. Um, so just through Google and every, my research, I think eBay is your best bet. So here's one, I found the uh, upper grill, active grill, uh, years 2019 to 2022. X7. So if you don't know, the body type is called G7 uh, uh, for this type of vehicle. So you're looking for G7 or X7 upper active grill. So you're looking for, and they're offering this for 220, and you can do a best offer active grill motor that we need. Here's the you take a screenshot of this. This is the motor, but you will not find this anywhere because they don't sell the motor. They sell the whole shebang. So you have to buy the whole unit just to get the upper motor. But we have some tricks because this is a savings channel. So two, 222 or best offer is what they got here. Right, other option is here's just the, it's a use of course again on eBay. Uh, this is the Actic Grill Shutter act Actuator or Motor. Now I don't know this is when I, doesn't look like it's the upper one though. So it could be a lower. Like I said, you can purchase at your own risk for 60 bucks versus 300 bucks for the whole low grill coming from BMW OEM. I would say it's a risk it's a risk you're willing to take so you just got to be figure out what's your risk tolerance okay last is uh the actual upper one this is the upper uh air duct grill actuator on the upper part so it looks like this coming in straight out of oem of course this is used so it's 80 or best offer again if you just want this they don't sell at bmw you will have to buy the whole grill as we spoke about earlier. Here's the part number. Again, there's no use of taking a screenshot because that number is not going to be non-existent because they don't sell just the motor actuator for the active upper grill for the BMW X7. So 80 bucks again, um, lower and upper 80 plus 60, that's $140. So, you know, it's, it's the risk you're willing to take. It is used, so you, you, there's no warranty that it, it will last forever or it'll work period as it arrives at your door so that's the risk you take for 80 bucks okay all right tools you're gonna need to get this job done the gloves a 3 8 uh, automatic drive a ratchet extension a three millimeter i mean an eight millimeter socket a 10 millimeter socket that a panel remover from amazon Amazon, I don't know, I got this for like 10 bucks maybe. Um, a one quarter drive short socket set. Uh, preferably it has eight millimeter there. So we need eight millimeter for those tight corners. A drop cloth, uh, razor, utility knife, flashlight, a 
open and close wrench ratchet set number eight number ten a t not a t yeah t um 30 star that's what you need to do to take this job out and i got this from ebay negotiated with the guy i got this for 190 uh bmw would try to sell you the whole front the guy told me it's brand new never used it but here's the part number I'll take a look at that take a screenshot of that it looks like it's gonna be a direct fit it comes with the new motor there's the motor right there pop it in all right let's uh get to it all right first things first you want to open the hood so on these it says to click the hood twice see that one two so make sure it's open Simply lift, lift up. There you go. So we're gonna take care of these. Uh, we're gonna take the kidney grill out. Take these off. These are T40s, T40 um, star wrenches. You can see. Oh, 40. I can zoom in up for you. So all star wrenches, and these are T30s. So this is the cable to unhook um, to release the trunk. I mean the hood. Uh, we'll just simply just slide these out. So we'll take all this apart. Take all these apart. I'll probably use a um, a driver. Take all these because this is like so many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of them. So I'll take those out, including the cover for this. And there's a whole bunch of these. One, two, three, four, four in the front, and then you got the uh, uh, tabs here. Fasten the tabs. I'm gonna take that with the two I showed you. Uh, one there. Okay, one there, one here, two, three, four, five. And we need to take these up, we need to. Um, I'm just guessing we we will just lift up and take it up. So let's pop this off and let's get started. All right, so I got a uh, 3 8 uh, drive from uh, Home Depot, from Ryobi. I got my T30. I'm gonna start taking this apart. Take this off. So T30. Let's take these cable off. Just kind of pop them off. Uh, remember how things go when you put them back. It shouldn't be too hard, especially these cables. I'm gonna stop it easy. We'll go this way and work our way. Because you don't want to break these tabs with a flathead or something like that. So let's one, two, three on this side. One, two, three on this side. And then gently pull this out. And then there's going to be tabs on this side here and tabs over here. And be gentle. You're going to push it out. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, you know, this is all about personal finance and cost savings. This is a cost saver. I'll flash across the screen how much it would cost to uh, do this. I'd be able to do this for you. Or if they wouldn't do it. They try to sell me the whole grill. I'm like, I don't need the whole grill. I just need the actuator. So I'm gonna push down and pull this grill. Gentle. Just pull on. Push and pull. Okay, so there's a little gap here. You can see my fingers are between there. Put constant pressure on it. I'm do the same here. Gently pull on it. There it is. I showed a tab, so there's three here and three here, so it's six tabs all together. Top, but there's a tab down here. I'll show you. Just be gentle. That's all I'm saying. 
All right, so there's one on this side, and one on that side. Just be aware. So to remove the camera, separate these tabs all together. So pull up. You don't want to just pull the camera up gently. There we go. Notice I'm pulling the camera, not on the wire. Don't move the wire. Here it is. So that's the front camera. Now the grill is free. There's a couple tabs. There's three tabs down here. And here's the side tab I was talking about. Make sure you don't break that. So BMW's Active Grill has uh, two fake or faux grills. So these two are fake. They actually don't move. And these two are fake. And to do take this off, you just pop it off. It clips up. It clips onto the other thing. The grill, the kidney grill holds everything together. Just pull off your fingers. Don't try to use a flathead or anything like that. Locks and just tabs. Tabs here, tabs here. Just remember, remember if this goes to the left, this goes to the right. Now take out the other faux, uh, fake um, grill is these. To take this out would be a, a T, T20 star. That's what you need, a T20. Take these two faux ones out now. It just allows more lighting and you can see what's going on behind this. Um, because the motor sits right about here. The motor's right behind here. That's it, right there. There's the motor. Use a special tool. I got this from Amazon. I'm no longer affiliated with Amazon, sorry. I think it's like 10 bucks for this thing. So one clip, two clip. We use these clips, don't throw them away, don't destroy them. Make sure you keep them intact. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're not gonna I'm not gonna record that part. Alright, I did this side, I took the, the weather stripping, you can see it's just has being held on. I'm gonna take this off with the metal cover. Like I said, uh, we missed two bolts, so a total of 12 bolts, 12 uh, T40s that are sitting underneath this column. One here, one here, so two all together, so 12 all together. Slip this out. That's out. A couple tabs here. Um, yeah, one tab down here, one tab over here. One tab over here. So we're gonna remove this, get behind to get to the motor actuator. So the tab here, can use a flathead. And I'm just gonna pry this open. This will be open, loose. And there's another tab here. And we'll do the same on that side. One. Two. And we'll do the same thing over there. This one has a tab right here. Some wiggling, wiggle, 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 wiggle. There we go. We're good. All right. Let's give you a bird's eye view, and I'll give you a close-up view in a second. Yeah. There's the motor. So good. Um, we're gonna unplug that. Unplug the wiring. Here's a better view. Here's the motor. So there's two motors to this car. It's a lower uh, flat. I'm hoping it's not that. It probably, I will probably won't film because uh, it's kind of an awkward angle because the nature of the gap of this thing is very tiny. So 
just enough to stick my hand in here and being held up by this very sophisticated wedge here. So I can stick my hand in there, okay? So I'm doing this just for you folks. I'm holding the camera and trying to take this out at the same time. So is it T20? I'm way down there with my elbow. But, uh, down here. Seems enough. So to take out the plug, I thought you squeeze it, but you actually lift up. So pro tip, to take out the plug, lift up, don't squeeze. I can show you the plug. It's a plug. I'm going to lift this tab up. See that right there? The inner tab, lift up to pull out the plug. Don't make a mistake. Your pro tip now is get the top. Get the top for you. Get it back in. All right, you guys get the idea. I got to put the phone down. So these grooves controls the motor, attaches to the flap. The motor has these grooves. It kind of just goes in like this, go over the grooves. It should slide in, slide in very smoothly. Let's put on correctly. All right, the second option is to replace the motor for the P05AF active grill motor shutter left open so we're gonna replace the one down here so i showed you how to replace the one up here kind of stick your hand this comes off stick your hand behind there but in order to replace the one down here which i believe this is the actual real problem is this active grill is actually closed so it's actually working in my opinion and this one is currently open not this grill this is the front this is just aesthetics this grill right here. This one is currently stuck open, is what it's giving me an error code for. So in order to do that, we are gonna take the whole front um, base of this coming off. Uh, fair warning, I am not a professional by any means. If you take upon yourself to do this yourself, can't be held liable, I am not a mechanic by any means. But this is how you would do it to save yourself some money. So this channel is about cost savings, so we're going to do that. We're going to take this whole front bumper off, peel off. And the only way to get to this motor, which is way down here, behind there, this whole thing has to come out. I tried going underneath the, the car, I tried going behind, you cannot reach it. Unless you got super skinny arms, which I don't. So that's what we're going to do with this for this part. So this will be part two, if you wanna call it that, for this video. So we're gonna start peeling back these uh, weather strips, take all the off so we can dismantle the front bumper out. So I'll show you what I'm looking at. So I'm gonna peel these back. I'm gonna use this tool to lift tabs up. See the tabs in there. And I'm gonna take these tabs off over this tool. So a couple of those here and here. Here, yeah, all the way back here. Uh, possibly all the way back there. Moving this whole thing over, and this comes apart too. So the reason we're going to take this whole cover off right here, all the way to here and beyond, because the bolt that holds this in, I believe, is eight millimeter, is deep in here. Kind of all behind this thing here. You'll see that I have to go deep in here. In addition, we'll need to get these eight millimeters also. Um, after we remove these, look at these eight millimeters. There's a wireless harnessing that controls the whole front of the bumper. We'll unplug it here. This is the uh, front passenger side front passenger on the right. So we need those eight millimeters, the wire harness, 
This uh, eight millimeter, this way, and eight millimeter up top. Over here. That's the reason we have to remove these two. So for this section, you just want to peel the boot back. This boot is actually strapped on the edge here. Let's see. So it just grabs the edge of this. Peel back. So it's eight room to work. Okay, slowly but surely, this whole thing is coming out. down for shot because this boot will go over the top of the filler. It's like um, you just have to turn to left, unlock it. Just loose. Voila. Okay, pretty much you got that off. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Yeah, not gonna film that part. You kind of get the idea. Um, take this uh, weather strip up to here, just enough where the crack is. That's where it's gonna separate. And just take this tab off. I mean take this uh, whole thing off just like the rest so you got these tabs here 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 that's all the way back there but the strip comes off just like over there and then this whole thing will come out like I said we need to get to the the bolt the enemy that's holding this up here and there's another one down here okay so I won't film that part uh, we'll see you in the next clip here we'll work on Getting these fender covers off with the plastic tool that I got from Amazon. Well, for this part, we can use the tools we talked about from Amazon. These are plastic tools. So don't use, try to use flat head over I got because uh, you might scratch your paint. So we're gonna work around the trim, take the trim off the uh, tie well. So they're pretty snug. It's a long tab. It's muscle your way out, but these are the tabs that are holding it. Just be gentle. You see from this angle. See that kind of goes in like that. Snaps right into these holes here. And we keep working our way up all the way over to the other side. So we're gonna take those eight millimeters there and there off. So you wear when you get to about this point it's just these white tabs you get about this point so these tabs you're gonna have to push in with this just work your way you know just be gentle it goes right into here push this down with your little plastic uh, clip remover so there's one right here yeah, just bring. so it's eight millimeters same thing so these are just tabs and uh, the clips that goes into here Kind of looks like this. Tabs, tabs, and then base of clips here. Forward to the back. Okay. Front, back. Of course, there's more screws, so we had five. Let me take out two more. From this way's angle. So, to get this front bumper off, notice it said this part off, not this part. This is the headlight that stays there. You have to move a bracket that sits right about here, right behind here. Let's try to show the light here. That's a 10 millimeter, there's two of them. You can see from this angle. There's one right down there. So, one from my fingers, two. So two two bolts. These are ten millimeters. And then we can get to that one right there. It's holding the 
copper itself. Get down there. So we can zoom in. So those two nubby things stick it up. One, two. Those should be 10 millimeter if you want to see from that angle. It's actually over here. So we're going to loosen the 10 millimeter first to get this to come out a little bit. And then the, the other 10 millimeters can be down here. So two up, two there and two here. Again, way down here. All right, so the two screws you're gonna to need to remove is down here. One there, and one right, right below it. Point to by can. So that one there, eight millimeter. There's one right here. One, two, about eight millimeter to move those. So pro tip, I haven't seen this on any of the videos I watched. I took out the two screws that uh, all the videos showed, but surprisingly there's a third screw. Which is right there. So we can zoom in. That's it. Right there, that one. So you haven't struggling with taking out the bumper? It's that one right there. I had to actually feel for it, so you can't even see it. But it sits right about here. But it's like a third one there that it's it's hidden. And that's the reason your bumper is not being pulled out because I was trying to pull it out and it feel like there's something still holding it back. That's the one. So that's a little pro tip for you. You guys joined this uh, channel for this long. Thank you for uh, subscribing and staying this long. All right, we'll see. We'll take this thing out and then I'll see you next clip. So we're gonna do the same thing we did here on this side. Take out the, the trims on the tire well. Get these 70s 8 millimeter screws here, take those off. And I'll show you there's a wire harness that supplies this electrical, all this stuff, and the uh, active actuator grill flaps itself. So we'll do that. And I won't film that part because it's the same thing uh, we did over there, so we're doing that side. So I won't film for that. <laughs> so the tricky side for this thing is. Because we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna put, get to that bracket oh, down there. Ten millimeters there. Let's get those two right there. One, two. This is in our way. This uh, fluid filled wash windshield for fluid. So just remove the clip here. Uh, take this wiring that's connected here off and just set this aside. All right. Next, we're gonna move a move the eight millimeter. A whole bunch of these down here. So we're gonna just remove these. So there, there, there. Leave that one alone, you don't need that. That stays there. These, especially all those, the gray and the lip down there right there. So remove all these eight millimeters. And then the final will be T30. I'm just gonna move these. Should be four of these. One, two, three, four. And the whole bumper should be able to lift up. All right, now you should be able to take it out after all that. Be careful, there's a wire harness here, and there's a fog light on these things, so you slide up slowly. Apparently, this part can stay there or it comes off this part. Just be aware of that. That looks good over there. I don't want to pull on this cable too much. I'm going to disconnect the wire harness. There we go. So 
for the wiring harness. Yeah. What you want to do is uh, squeeze this together until it let go. There it is. Just stays here. I just put a temporary box up there so the whole front can come out. So there is the lower active grill we talked about. I'm gonna replace that uh, with the one I got from eBay. So here's what it looks like. Yeah, the eight millimeters come here and here. That third one we talked about was this one right here. Just be aware if this doesn't fall off, that means you have to remove this one right here. So you can move that one, that should, the whole thing should come out. But that's what I was struggling with, otherwise it would have dropped a long time ago, but I was struggling to take this one out. I only saw these two, I didn't see this one. In fact, I took it out just because I didn't know what else to do with it, so I took it out. In fact, it sits right there. So I'm just close that. That's it. So I'm just going to put it back where it belongs. Look up here. It's over here like this. It's up there. It sits there. The back gate goes here. Well, behind here. Okay, it goes like this. Okay. A pro tip there. Let's put it all back together. T30. Take this off and snap it off. There's only two that's holding this thing down. Actually, four. Two, three, four. make sure it matches up so this one says g7 which is the model for this um, vehicle g7 the replacement of that lci whatever that means it seem pretty well matched everything lines up even this number looks the same so you know that number that's old the new one it matches too with the old. So I'm gonna say it's a good. Everything looks exactly how it should be. So half the price of what BMW would charge you. So, I'm gonna put it back together. So, I put them back together. This is the reverse how we took it out. I'm not gonna film that part, otherwise, this video will be longer than it is already. All right, I'll see you when this whole thing's done. There you have it, all put back together. Uh, all the coverings, the collarings, everything, the weather strip, all put back together. So, there it is. Well, if you like this kind of video where I talk about personal finance and cost saving, definitely a big cost saver here, folks. You do it yourself. Just change out the uh, active air grill for the 2020 BMW X7. So a little trick with the bumper, we figured that out. And I showed you two ways to change out the active air grill. Uh, the first one up here, kind of went through back. And the second way is to change the bottom one up. And we have to take out the whole bumper for that. So that's very new in there. There it is. 
All right, have been subscribed to this channel and I'll see you in the next one.